congratulations on the new contract. Can you tell us a little bit about why you stayed? Thank you very much. Um, it was easy in the end. It, it, this has obviously become my home. I've been here for uh, coming up in five years. It's, it's flown. So, um, yeah, I think we're just building so much at the moment with some of the results we've had this season at, um, at away to Leinster, away to Claremont, um, kind of groundbreaking results for us. So um, I get on very well with the younger lads, nearly, nearly as good as I do the older lads. So um, it's exciting times and, and yeah, I would have found it difficult to, to leave that. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to building on that. And as I said, those, those results we've gotten um, has really driven us on and, and made us very optimistic for the future. So um, yeah, it was too difficult to leave basically. And then what are some of your personal goals um, this season? Um, I actually haven't sat down and done my New Year's resolutions yet. I'm a bit late. Um, I, I just have found throughout the kind of last year, year and a half, I think I've taken, in a weird way, a lot of pressure off myself in terms of performance um, outside of Ulster's control. So um, I'm basically trying to be the best rugby player I can each week. So that's my main goal every day I go out, is, is not to be seen to, to compare myself to other players. It's just to be the best player I can be. So. Um, it's just to kick on with Ulster, do as well as I can and obviously win a couple of trophies would be the ideal outcome but um, that's going to come off the back of me playing well and the rest of the players. Brilliant. And then on to fixtures, We've got Munster away this weekend, they're coming off the back of a loss last weekend so I'm sure you and the team will be expecting them to come out fighting. Yeah, it, it's actually a weird uh, dynamic, it's, it's usually even more difficult to go to a team that have lost and um, they're in that game against Connacht, they only lost by two points so um, I've never won in Thoman, so um, I'd never won in uh, the RDS either or Claremont. So, um, as I said, this year it's, it's been a little bit different for us with our away performances. So, I'm confident we can go down there, play well, and um, hopefully get a result. And then, how difficult has it been for you and the team uh, preparing for these upcoming games with all the disruption of COVID? Yeah, well, it was difficult. Um, I think it's, it's hard throughout the week because we get tested twice, and, and some players were getting it late on, some people were being close contact. So. Um, it was definitely the right thing in the end to, to postpone the games. I, I, I just think with that um, bit, of, bit of change throughout the week, it was, it was quite difficult even to field the team. So um, being home games, two home games, we don't want that to, to be cancelled or we don't want the points to be just given either way, separated. So um, it's important that we get to play these games at home um, and hopefully have a, a fuller squad next time we play. And I'm sure you've seen um, all the positive reaction from the fans with your contract and with your performance this season. Uh, do you have a message for the supporters at home? Yeah, um, it was, I was kept humble by the, the lads telling me um, how arrogant I am to put out that tweet. So um, on the inside with the lads, they, they kept me humble. But it's, it's incredible to see that. Um, as I said earlier, this has become my home. Um, quite emotional when you think about it to, to see the impact that they've had on me. Even my mum was hounding me the whole time. She loves it here and she loves getting to the game. So she was adamant that I stayed. So um, even to keep her happy, she comes up about two or three hours before every game. And I think everyone knows her now because she won't watch the games. Um, I don't think she's ever seen me take a kick. So um, yeah, it means a lot to me and my family. So yeah, it was easy in the end.